Hello and welcome. This is going to be a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. But I've been waiting for one of these to pop up from somewhere on eBay or somewhere that a bit more credible than some of them. This is obviously an Overlord Sheltier Bloodfallen figure in her iconic dress, which I've been wanting for a while now. So I do prefer it when they're in their original sort of stuff, because that's where you see them most off. And she's often in this dress. I wouldn't mind if there was a version with uh, the full battle armor as well, with the spirit lance. Or the, oh, it's said a bit differently, but with the lance itself. So that is what would interest me. I did pay a fair bit from this because I, uh, I had this one imported from Japan. So I couldn't see anywhere in the UK that was selling it. At least know where I look for selling it. Oh, let's see if we can get that out. So it comes with her umbrella and it looks like... No, okay, that's the bottom of the umbrella. Okay, it comes in two parts, so it slots through. That's what's going on. I don't know if this has actually got any tape on it, so... It will pop. There is tape on it. Actually, I have my knife. on the top right. Should be some on the side though. And probably not, not on the bottom. Okay. So I should be able to pop it open just like that. So I believe if I'm not mistaken this is a one eighth. Last one's popped together pretty well. There we go. What's holding it together? Oh, there's one just there. One that's in the centre. There we go. I fell through the bottom somehow. I don't know how that got down. Oh, I must have fell out when I was trying to pry it open, actually. Get rid of that bit. Do a lot of wrapping on it. Pull the figure out. The umbrella out and get rid of the plastic. Just spin this around and see. I'm pretty sure... Can't see it on there because it's all Japanese. Doesn't help me trying to read it. Do the colours look? Not too bad. The paint. Paint could be a bit better. Wouldn't lie. Put it on its stand. See the stand. Quite annoying. It has X on it. Really not going to focus, but that should all be removed once it goes on the stand. So it just goes into the foot. Body's off proportion a little bit, but you what? Okay, it's a the fit is a bit tight there. Not gonna lie. But again, and is not coming off of that. What's that? There's a metal rod. So that would slot down. How's that go in the hand? We'll see just how it actually properly goes in there. So this one goes there, that one goes up over the top. Okay, so the umbrella's a bit looser. I 
overall, I think I'm not unhappy with it. I do like the image on the box a bit better. The box is really nice. You've got the different stands. There goes Sank. Overall, I'm very happy with this one. But I think it'd be classified as a medium figure for me because I'm classifying one apes as mediums. So I have more one apes. And then stuff that stuff that does classify as bigger like that one back there. Because it's not a I've got a few one fourths coming that are standing up and they're gonna be really big compared to this. I'm definitely happy I've got it. I've got another one that I've got to sort out. That probably won't be done today though. Due to how much work's got to be put into that one. I'd probably say from a distance the paint jobs. Not as well done as I thought. But this is a different brand than I normally would buy. Which I can't say its name. So I wouldn't mind if freezing the company that does the one for funny figures does a shell tier one. Because definitely I think paint job wise, the colours are right. I'm not too pleased with the paint. I think it could have been done a bit nicer. There's a few things on it that Let's see if that focuses. So you can see this lines don't fully match. But the umbrella's well done. Shading's okay. I do think some things could be done a bit nice. I think the face could have been a bit more pale. It's a bit yellowy. If you look at that one, that is shown not to be yellowy. That is white. That is yellow. Very big difference. It shouldn't make big difference because it's a uh, bigger, but that was because it's a vampire. Probably with how I'm looking at it in that it's probably a six out of all the figures I've rated. I think probably paint job this is one of the worst, just including the ones that are like horrible. And the only reason it gets high is because it's got its colours kind of right. I definitely think that's a big annoyance for me that the face is yellowy. I think if it was a more pale face, it would look a lot better. Now it's me just complaining about the face. But that's where I'm going to call it there. Rated it a 6. A slight colour mismatch from the image on the box, which shouldn't make a big difference, but I'm quite picky with that sort of stuff. From a distance, it'll be fine. So if I put it up on like, or back there, perfectly fine. And back there is from that distance. Can I think stuck? That distance. It's good. Closer up, not so much. I do like the box actually. I like the pictures on the box. So I'll definitely put that back on the pile. <laughs> But yeah, that's why I'm going to end that one.